Today's the day. If you know me, you know I love music. I also love efficiency and doing things quickly and effectively. So this just makes a whole lot of sense. I did a video about this a while back, but I never followed through. And so we're going to do that today. And I would invite you to join me because this could be really fun as far as making your workflow a little smoother, a little more custom to yourself. Now, I'm not big on customizing everything for the sake of customizing, but this thing I think is cool. What are we talking about? The idea of inserting our favorite plugins, let's say our five favorite plugins. I imagine if you're anything like me, there's really four or five plugins that I use regularly, probably closer to three with a, I can't say three, three. Uh, but I, while the normal way that I bring a plugin in in Studio One is something like this. I grab Pro EQ and I drag it onto the track, right? Nothing wrong with that. That'll work just fine. However, I saw Gregor do this a while back and I just fell in love with it. I want to be able to add plugins using a keyboard command. And guess what? Studio One lets you do that. You can choose which plugin and even which preset gets added. That's bonkers. So like here, I can hit Control One, which I set up, and adds Pro EQ. Let's talk about how I did that. And I'm going to set it up for two, three, four, and five because I need those in my life and I have yet to do it. So where does this happen? Well, if you go back to the start page in Studio One, you see this cute little ghosty robot looking fella? Looks a little bit like Eve from um, Wally. Uh, if you click on that, it opens up this thing called the macro organizer. What are macros? Macros are shortcuts, sort of. They're commands or a series of commands that you can create. So if you have a set of things you want to do, of commands in Studio One, you can set them up to happen in order. So you hit one command, you trigger one command, it actually goes through a series of commands. That's all a looper is. Uh, I mean, that's all a macro is, not a looper. That's a whole different thing. Um, I saw here where I had looper, and I messed that up. So if I come here and I search EQ, there we go. I've got Pro EQ, which is the one I created. Those are my initials. Let's look at this and edit this and see what's going on here. So here are all the commands you have available to you. I don't know... I. I've only used Studio One almost predominantly for the last decade at least, so I don't know what other dolls are doing these days, but I don't know of many that give you access to all of this. I don't know of many pieces of software, period, modern pieces of software that allow you to have access to this. But look, these are all the different individual commands that we have access to. You could lose a lot of time doing this. Don't lose tons of time. Make some music. But do this one thing because I think it's going to make your life a lot easier. So the idea is this is the macro. And I'm going to put a one next to it because that's how I'm going to keep track of it. Um, and this does just two simple commands. It adds an insert to selected channels, okay? And that's the like the idea of the of the insert. And then it shows the channel editor, which I think means it shows the actual plugin. I don't know if that is actually true or not. So. Let's uh, let's start a second one from scratch, just for giggles. Let's see if we can create this. So um, I'm walking this instead of going through and figuring it out and then showing it to you. I thought this would be more valuable to sh like to kind of walk through this together. So if I hit new, and we're starting from scratch, we'll name this two. Uh, I can't type two compressor. So I want to add a compressor to this. We'll add this to the JG group, um, and I want to. Add an insert. This is in the console. So we're going to add insert. So I select this. It doesn't drag. I have to hit add. And it's console add insert. That was pretty easy. If I double click on this, it does not have any arguments. That is not what I want. Because that's just going to pull up like the drop down menu for me to type add insert. That's not super helpful. Let's go back. Let's keep looking and see if there's a better one add insert to selected channels, and it has a dot, dot, dot here. You see that? I think that means I can actually add more commands to it. So let's do that. Aha. Track, add insert. So under a track, we can add insert to selected channels. Double click on that. Yeah, this is what we're talking about. This lets me add any, really anything I want. So I can add an effects chain, which by the way, you can save your own effects chain. You got a bunch of plugins in a row that you love. You can save them as an effects chain, like here's some an ambient guitar one that I created. But then I could trigger that with a key command. I'll show you how to do the key command in a second. But this says we're going to insert compressor. And it's just going to do the default preset. So um, I believe that's what it does by default. And so I say okie dokie. Now we have that. 
Um, so let's try it out. But wait, we can't try it out yet because that's just a command that now exists in my list of macro commands, but I haven't set a keyboard shortcut for it yet. So if I come back to the macro organizer and I search comp, here's the command I just made. Let's click on shortcut, which opens it up over here in our shortcuts menu. We can see it's right there. And I can call this command or uh, control two. That's what I want to call it. I hit assign, that is now assigned, I hit apply. All right, it's now there. Let's see if we can go back over into this session and add a compressor to a track. Here's a track, I'm gonna hit control two, bam, compressor. That's pretty great. Now, ideally, we would open that up because I'm not adding it with specific settings, so I need it to open up, so let's figure out how we're gonna do that. We can come up here to the menu. By the way, this is where macro organizer lives open that back up let's find it comp and let's figure out what other command we need to add to open up that window for that specific plugin so I don't think it's called window toggle floating windows no um, channel let's see the one thing I will, if I'm going to be critical at all, it's that some of the, the the terminology isn't like intuitive. You're not exactly sure what some of these commands are called. It makes sense to the folks who write the software, but for <laughs> folks like myself, it can be a little confusing. So I want to show. I don't want to show groups. Show channel editor. I think this is the one. It's either channel overview or channel editor. Uh, I'm going to guess it's this one. So let's add that. I just double clicked and it added it. And if I double click over here, it says state. <laughs> All right. It's a little, it, this should be a little easier. I think the state is either one or zero on off binary. So let's say just one for giggles. And let's come in here on this new blank track. I'm going to hit command two. Boom. Done. So that was really easy. So if we come back over to our macro organizer, which I've got mapped to the key command, whatever that little tilde symbol, that little backspace thing just below the escape key. If I press that, it opens up this macro organizer. You can set that up for yourself under keyboard shortcuts. But if we come back in here and we search for compressor and we take a look, this, if you want to screenshot this, it's under track, it's add insert to select channels, and then under console, it's show channel editor, and that will show you the plugin that you just added. That reminds me, I need to, I think this one's good, I need to go change the EQ one, because that one, if I search for JG, will that bring them all up? There we go. Uh, EQ, oops, that's compressor, doing great. Let's get out of here. Uh, if we look at the EQ one, I didn't, I didn't set the state for this, so state of one, yeah, that should fix it now. Earlier when I added that EQ, you'll notice it didn't bring it up. So control one is what I already had mapped to that. Channel editor was already open here. So let's close it back down. If I hit control one, control one. Huh. Hitting control two opened up the compressor, but control one did not. I don't love that. What is control one? It's inserting pro EQ. The state is one. Let's check the compressor one now. Con con show channel editor. Is that what I have over here for the EQ? Do I have show channel editor? I do. Well, let's just uh, remove it and add it again. Show channel editor. Double click. Change this state. Two, one. Say OK. Get out of here. No other windows are open. Control one. Dang it. Control two. Yes. Control three isn't anything. I wonder. Let's check the key command. Maybe I'm triggering the wrong thing. What is EQ? Uh, that's not the uh, interesting. All right, let's remove this. I have it. I had it mapped to something. I don't know what Control One was doing. I had it mapped to the wrong thing. Oh, uh, it's the high pass filter one that wasn't even working properly. I had forgot to reset. Okay, sorry. I was wrong. I had the I had the key command mapped to the wrong macro. So now I've got it set to 
this one called Pro EQ. We will assign, apply, hit OK, and now it should work. Let me close this window, and I say, bam, that works. And I say, bam, that works. And I say, bam, that works. That's amazing. So I'm hitting Control-1, brings in EQ, and opens the window. Select a channel, hit Control-2, brings in compressor, opens the channel. Well, now we're going to have some fun. Let's go in and... I'm going to rename this one with the number one, just so when I see it, I know what it is. Sick. Uh, yeah, sure. And I don't need this high pass one, so I'm going to delete that just because it's causing trouble. And now we're going to add, can we duplicate these? No, we can't. Well, that's easy enough to replace. Insert. So we go to track, insert to selected channels. And we choose the third one. Number three for me is going to be Fat Channel. I use Fat Channel a lot. Arguably, it's my number one, but I think of EQ as number one. So that's going to be my Fat Channel. And then we're going to say Show show Channel Overview, State 1. Let's make sure we name it, silly, Fat Channel Group JG. OK. Good to go. Yes, rename the file. So now if I come to JG, 3 is fat channel. Shortcut takes me over here, and I tell it that's going to be Control-3, assign, apply. Now when I press Control-3, I get fat channel. That is amazing. Let's try it again here. All right, that's overview. Why is it not giving me interesting I must have broken it that was the problem I had it set to channel overview instead of channel editor the overview is this cool window that gives you kind of a view of all the things that are happening both with the plugins and the sends that's not what I wanted so let's get rid of that and we're going channel editor that's the word you want to look for channel editor with a state of uno bam bam and now when I hit control three boom fat channel opens up with my default preset Whew, I love that. So now I can do this. That's what. That's all I'm going to do for today is just the one through three, but I could have red light distortion be on four perhaps. That's not a bad one to do. Um, I could have different presets. If I have one with a high pass filter and one, you could go nuts and have them on one through nine, control one through nine. I think those might be all available on Studio One to use. And then maybe have a little printout or a sticky note showing you what those are, but it'll become second nature. So setting these up is a little bit clunky, right? It's not the most intuitive thing to set up. But now that it's done, I mean, check it out. I've got all these channels I want to add EQ to. I select them all, hit Control One. I got EQ on every channel. <laughs> It's not that helpful, but you get the idea. I now have the ability to quickly add things. Compressor, EQ, Fat Channel. Boom. I just added all three of those to this channel without clicking anything. I, for one, love that because I like using key commands. So go try this. Figure it out. Just give yourself like 15 minutes to set this up. Use the ones I use. You know, Compressor, EQ, Fat Channel. And you can use this with third-party plugins as well. Just choose the plugin that you want and it'll bring it in. But I enjoy, I think this setup will be really useful. I might set it up with one more. We'll see if I stick with one, two, and three because I never really used it when it was only EQ. But now that it's my top three plugins, I might be good to go. All right, I hope this was fun for you. I know, I know, it's really nerdy, but sometimes nerdy stuff is exciting too. So just get over it. You'll be okay. Go, go embrace your inner nerd for just a minute. I think you'll be glad you did. Thanks for watching. See you.